to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And I'm very excited about this one. I'm going to show you the razor first instead of showing you the soap. So as you can probably see by the title, um, I got my hands on one of these beauties. This is a Muromasa, or the new adjustable razor from Tatara. Beautiful, very, very well designed. Uh, kind of as I would expect from Tatara, to be honest with you. I believe this is made completely of 316L stainless steel, which is marine grade stainless steel for anyone that doesn't know. Big difference in machining between marine grade and normal grade. Marine grade is quite a lot harder. It's a bit more wearing on tooling, that sort of thing. Um, so it's harder to, definitely harder to manufacture with, that's for sure. Um, the way this is designed is very smart, frankly. Uh, they've, they've really thought about this and you, I can tell definitely with the way it looks. Um, I'll show you how to take it apart then. So at the moment it looks like any other adjustable razor, but they've really thought about how they've put it together. So like a, like just a normal three piece razor, it comes apart like you would expect. So this here is the handle, but you can see inside here, I hope that it's threaded. And like normal, you just pull the, you can turn this and you can pull the uh, top cap off. Let me get it. There you go. And the top cap comes off exactly like a three piece razor. And then again, you just screw up the handle and bang, you're good to go. Um, the adjustments work from one to five. So you turn this turn this little dial around, kind of similar to any of the adjustable razor. Um, I really like what they've done with the adjustment though. Uh, like the Rex Ambassador, I, I believe the Rex Ambassador only adjusts on blade app alone. It doesn't change the blade exposure. I might be wrong there, but I'm sure that's how it works. This, however, changes both blade, expo blade, blade exposure, that's hard, say that five times fast, and um, blade gap. So the, the adjustments constantly change the the blade exposure and blade gap, which I think is really, really smart. Um, it's exactly what I think an adjustable razor should do. I'm looking really, f I'm looking forward to shaving with this quite a lot. Um, the handle here is stunning. Um, I much prefer this handle to the normal Masamune or Nadachi handle. These are, this is so grippy. Um, these kind of like bigger dimples, these larger dimples at the angles they've put them are very, it's just good design. Um, I still don't love this rounded bit at the end, but that's that's just a personal preference thing. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the way this looks and I'm really looking forward to giving it its first shave. Uh, I'm gonna break away now and I'm gonna explain how the blade exposures work and kind of what the different gaps are. Okay guys, as promised, uh, I'm going over the uh, kind of the different settings, the blade gaps and the blade exposures. Um, they send you this really cool kind of leaflet with the razor telling you kind of all of the different settings, how to clean it and stuff like that. I really like that sort of thing. Um, so setting one has a blade gap of 0 0.6 and a blade exposure of minus 0 0.17. Two is a blade gap of 0 0.7 with the blade exposure of minus 0 0.07. Number three is a blade gap of 0 0.75 with the exposure of neutral, so no negative or positive blade exposure. Four is a blade gap of 0 0.8 with a blade exposure of a positive 0 0.07. And number five is a blade gap of 0 0.9 with a positive exposure of 0 0.17. Overall, you can see that's a quite a nice range as far as different use cases go. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to shaving with this. Hey guys, interesting stuff, eh? Um, really excited to shave with this. So this is going to be our razor today, the Tatara Murumasa. Um, really excited. My soap of choice today is going to be from Oaken Lab, which won my sentimental If You Could Only Choose Five award. Um, Farfield is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's one of my favorite scents by uh, Oaken Lab. The way I would describe it, it's, it's very cedar forward. It's like an aquatic with a mi with a mixture of almost like mossy. It, it, it's the perfect depiction of far afield. Um, they have scents here, or like there's some imaginary scents, which is mountain mist, still lake, cedar, and 5 a.m. So very early on the side of the lake, by on a mountain, 
and they, they've absolutely smashed it. As always, I'll put the uh, the breakdown of the scent below so you get a better insight into that, and the ingredients, like I always do. Uh, my brush today is going to be my favorite brush, and this is the Vale gas lamp. Let's get a load on here. So I'll be honest with you, I should be working right now, but I received this razor and just said, things can wait, you know? There are, there are more important things in life, and that's trying new razors. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get a good load on here. This Vale is very dense, it can take quite a lot of soap. When I typically load these really dense knots, what I like to do is I like to just incrementally add water just so I'm not lathering completely from dry, if you know what I mean. I find Oaken Lab's performance to be like stellar, stellar, outstanding, like very, very good. Across the board as well, the soap and splash are amazing. There we go, I think that should be enough soap. Let's get the glasses off. I need to keep making sure it doesn't disconnect because last time the video just randomly stopped. So I'm gonna keep watching that. Get the uh, face wet hair. I'm really excited to use this razor, guys. Um, I'm waiting for this one for a little bit. So, um, I've tried quite a few adjustable razors. I've tried obviously all the, pretty much all of the vintage Gillettes. They're all they're all good in their own way. But the the marvel of modern machining. I tried the Rex. The Rex, to be to be completely transparent with you, is not for me. I think the way the blade gaps, um, blade exposures designed is it's pretty lackluster in my opinion. Um, I don't think it was thought out very well. Uh, you know, in my opinion, you might love the raisin, that's perfectly fine, but it's definitely not for me. I'm really hoping this is different, and I trust the guys at Tatar to do that. So I know, um, immediately, point uh, number three on this specific razor has a neutral blade exposure. Very much like the Tatara Hybrid. The Tatara base plate with the Nadachi top cap, that is neutral blade exposure. So for me, that's the point of reference there. The blade, expo the blade exposures are slightly different um, than the original Tatara models, I believe. But overall, I'm very excited to uh, shave with this thing. It's been a while. I've known about it for a good amount of time. When they open, when they open pre-orders, I was absolutely all over there. So some of you may have saw the price and thought I'm not paying that. I'll be honest with you guys, designing an adjustable razor like this is pretty difficult. Um, the fact that Rex, uh, Rex Supply Co gets away, manages to just charge 250 for an adjustable razor is really impressive because as far as design goes and manufacturing, they're actually pretty hard to make, hard to design. So I'm happy I'm happy there are additional options now on the market for these adjustable razors. Oaken Lab is very good. <laughs> I'm happy with the density, so what we're gonna do now is just paint some water in. So I, I will go into more depth on this razor when I do a, an actual review. Um, at the moment, it's more of just a first impression, just telling you how it works. I'm giving you my initial impressions on the design, and then as I use it a bit more, I become a bit more informed. Um, I've been speaking with the Tatar guys quite a bit, and they're great people. Uh, very good guys, very knowledgeable guys as well. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be trying out this razor today, as I said. So, Get some more, a bit more water in here. A little bit more, and I think we'll be good, guys. Water's very kind to this Oaken Lab base, so. Okay, so, what I'll do now 
So I'll put pick these up, draw some lines. I don't shave that high, so lather just doesn't need to be there. But yeah, I'm uh, happy with the lather this makes anyway, it's very nice. As you can see, really good density, not airy at all. Doesn't taste very good. Or as I'm CDB says, no quality issues. No quality issues. Okay, let's get this uh, blade loaded up then. So I'll show you how that works. Very simple, kind of as you expect. Take off the handle. Boom, this comes separate. Put that down so I don't drop it like a like a dingbat. Very English term there. Take off the cap and base plate, like you would with any three-piece razor. Just load your blade onto here. Make sure it's even as you're loading it, because my hands are wet and I forgot to do this. Cool, there we go. So blade is even. Put the uh, base plate on. Then slide this up and tighten down everything. Tighten down the handle and there we go. So we're gonna start here on the lowest setting. We're gonna slowly increase as we shave. So Tara is not the Masamune, it's the Murumasa. Let's get to shave. Okay, first cut off. I did a couple of strokes with the really mild setting and uh, it's very mild. It feels incredibly smooth though. Yeah, wow. That's so, that's so mild. Let's go, let's go up to number two now. Number two. Yep, I can definitely feel the difference. A little bit more blade. This is a very smooth razor, guys. So I think the number two would be something I choose if I want a very mild, very mild shave. Let's go number three. Okay guys, another stop. Rinsed off, the, the soap feels fantastic. The razor is great, um, very, very good. The uh, I find that the difference in exposures and blade gaps obviously do lend to definitely a different face feel. That is for damn sure. Which is kind of what you would expect, but I mean, overall, it's been done very, very well. I, I can feel different use cases for the different um, different settings for sure. Let's let's go on setting five. Let's try setting five here, the most aggressive setting. See that feels. There's quite a lot of blade feel here. But it's nothing scary. And for me, that's that is definitely usable, you know. Nothing that I would define as too bad. Yeah, very good job. And the, the thing I like about it is because it's usable, Let's switch back to three and give that a bit more, a bit more of a go. Because it's usable, I could see myself using them all. You know. Three and four, are probably my favourites at the moment. Some on three here. Very smooth. Very smooth. Let's go back down to two for the uh, kind of like upstroke. Yeah, the, the blade is just clamped so well. Everything feels very safe, which is, for me, probably the most important part of using a razor for me. I, d I just don't want it to be uncomfortable. 
Let's go back up to four. I'm just trying to use all the settings and become familiar with them. Okay, now the stop. Uh, let's do a bit of a clean up here. And we're gonna clean up on the most efficient setting, because we can. Just wet the brush a little bit more. Okay, let's see how this most efficient setting feels with the with the cleanup. Very smooth still. So I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> Feels great. Yeah, five is uh, definitely usable for me, to be honest. Like, it's quite a bit of blade exposure, as you saw at the start. But I mean, it's nothing, nothing at all scary. I'm happy with that shave, guys. Um, as always, let me get the uh, lather on my face. Sorry for all the stops. I'll figure that one out. I think it's something to do with the phone overheating. But let me get the lather on my face. Um, clean up the gear and I'll be back with the post shave and the final thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey guys. Post shave time. Post shave from the soap is top, top notch. Um, let's get on with the splash then, shall we? So, Oaken Lab Far Field Matching Splash. This is an alcohol free splash. This is one of my favorite splashes, guys. Uh, I really enjoy using this. Let's get a good amount of it. Um, this has no burn whatsoever. It just feels really, really nice on the skin. Yeah, wow. Well, that's a great shave. Okay, um, let's talk to you a bit about this razor then. So, um, full range of adjustable, like adjustments are completely usable to me from one to five. Uh, one is a bit mild, two to five, I think will be usable for everyone. Um, the way it's designed, very, very good. I'm incredibly impressed. The overall level of blade fill on all of the settings, I actually don't think is like too excessive whatsoever. Um, I was expecting it to be a bit too blade feely on 5, but not at all. I think this 5 is even really usable for me as well. Um, I think they've done a phenomenal job, quite honestly. Um, as you can see, I left it on 5 there. So it's it's such a good razor. Um, my first impressions of it are a huge, huge thumb up for my first shave. I'm really looking forward to putting some more time in with it. Um, and then eventually I'll release a proper razor review. Yeah, but phenomenal. Well done, well done to Tara. Oh my, it's my first impression. Uh, soap today was far filled by Oaken Lab. Really, really good. One of my uh, favorite scents from them. My brush was the Vale gas lamp with, with this cool design. One of my favorite brushes, if not my favorite brush. My post was one of my favorite splashes too. And this is Oaken Lab's uh, alcohol free splash, which is very lovely on the skin. It's already beginning to dry down. My face was great. Great shave, great gear, wonderful audience. I thank you so much for watching this video. Um, sorry about the stopping. I will address that. I think it might be an overheating issue. So either I deal with the overheating issue or I get a new camera. Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep making videos. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grimm. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.